In Christina's court, famed comedian Sean Harris battles his ex-girlfriend over rent and a broken heart. So then, what made you sue uh, Edith? Or what made you bring this action against her? I want my money. That ain't no joke. How many... How <laughs> I don't have it. Shoot. How many times did you ask her for the money? All the time. Every, every, well, since we got out, a couple of times. How much do you think what she contributed to you mm -hmm. is worth? I mean, Taking care of you? You want a monetary you? number? You want a, uh, I mean, you want a price? I, I don't have a, like I said. Priceless? I was, no, because I'm wrong. She I took take care, care of your son when you were there? Yeah, for a month. Gave you love? Mm -hmm. She was your most serious relationship? Yeah. That's priceless. Not the body, but that's priceless. At the end of the day, we left that house. We're not there now because I couldn't afford to keep it. Because mm -hmm. she Did didn't keep that? up her end of the bargain. Did you know that? He, he couldn't afford to keep it. She said she didn't care. Why didn't you care? I didn't, when I left, I didn't care. Because her mama lived down the street. You were just fed up with it. You were just At fed up with it. At that point, I would, yeah. Is it always like this for you in a relationship? I haven't had too many. I just... <laughs> From you know. what he told me, I, yeah, I think so. Hmm. I think I need to be by myself, shoot. When I make it where I got to be, they'll be all right there waiting anyway. Nah, not true love. Exactly. But it ain't true love. Thank you. I, how could it be true love when I'm getting yelled at constantly like a child in my People own love, house? People love, they yell at each other all the oh, time. Oh, that's they true. Ask him, he's been married for how long? Over 20 something years. Yeah. Over 20 something Look at him, years. though. He look mad. <laughs> You don't look happy, brother. You don't look happy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He's very happy. Okay, all right, let's get back to the queen. You know, the thing is that you guys weren't husband and wife, right? And the thing is that you guys, when you got together and you went and specifically sought out this lease, you both went out with the intent to find a place to live together, no? Mm. Both of you signed it. You're both liable, joined severally liable under the law. And, and I think that when you got from what you're telling me, when you signed this lease, you were both going to be responsible for the lease, 50-50. And how do I know that? Because you actually paid for three months. Mm, 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 mm. too bad. <laughs> I'm being serious now. Intermission. Okay. When you actually, when your conduct shows you're actually meeting an obligation, that means you, I think you knew you meant that obligation. Whether you stopped after the fourth month paying it, I don't know why. Whether you really had financial difficulties, whether it was the fact that you realized the person you were in love with was just not for you and you just started getting sick of it and you're like, well, whatever, I'm going to forget this, I'm going to contribute in another way. If I'm working hard, take dealing with his attitude, that's enough payment. Maybe that's it, but under the law, you signed this lease and you promised to pay half of the rent. And you didn't, so you need to pay him half of the rent for the, the nine months that you weren't there, which is the $4,500. Sometimes, <clears throat> Sean, when you find a good woman or you find a good man that can tolerate all your idiosyncrasies, you got to hang on for dear life because then it's hard to find another one. So my advice as a happy woman, you married woman, you're happy. You're I'm looking. smiling. <laughs> See. <laughs> All right. Judge Christina has ruled in favor of the plaintiff and has ordered the defendant to pay four thousand five hundred dollars. Insults can be funny. Look at Don Rickles. But for Yvette, Sean's comedy routine became a way of life. He was always working at it, and some days it just didn't seem funny. He couldn't turn it off. So love was always near, but yet so far. See you in court.